Hello, my name is Rick from DWD Technology Group, and today we're going to talk about writing off invoices in the cash receipts functionality that is within the accounts receivable module. You can write off uh, entire invoices, you can write off a uh, partial amount of invoices, and you can also record uh, some cash received and write off the balance of an invoice. And so we're going to go through those three scenarios today. First, let's write off an entire invoice. So like I said, we're going to go into accounts receivable, cash receipts entry. I have batches turned on. Uh, if you do, create a batch. And we'll just say write off entire invoice in this batch. So we're going to need to create a deposit. But since we're not receiving any cash, there is no cash deposit amount. So go ahead and accept that. And then when you get to your cash receipts entry screen, let's go ahead and select the customer. And for check number, there isn't a check. So I just put, I put in bad debt. You can use something more descriptive, but that way you'll be able to tell what you did when you applied it. So again, amount received is zero. So let's go to our lines. Let's select the invoice that we're going to write off. And we're going to write this one off today. Okay, so when you select the invoice, it's going to default to amount posted zero, but we want to write off the balance of it. So we're going to type in 1178.69, and you can see now the balance is zero. Well, now we have to put it somewhere. So on the second line, you can see here we have to select the GL account so that we can write it off. We're going to write the balance of the invoice off, and now we're going to write it off and expense it to our bad debt account. And now you can see that the posting balance is zero. The invoice balance is zero, and you can see that we've charged our account for the uh, amount of the write-off. So let's go ahead and accept that. Let's just take a real quick look at the GL posting uh, for this scenario. You can see that we have taken invoice and written off the amount of the invoice and that we have charged it to our non-recoverable account in the amount of the invoice. And you can see this is the GL entry that is created. We've credited our accounts receivable account and we've expensed the amount to our non-recoverable account. So the next scenario is where we're just going to write off a portion of an invoice. So again, we have to create our batch. So we're going to write off portion of invoice. And again, we didn't receive any cash, so we'll leave the cash deposit amount at zero, and we'll accept that. We will select our customer. And... 
again, since we didn't receive a ch actual check, we'll just say write off partial as the check as the check number. So we'll leave our amount received at zero. We did not receive any cash. So let's go to lines. And let's select our invoice number and. So in this scenario, we're just writing off a partial uh, amount of the invoice for whatever reason. The customer's called. Maybe we're scrapping some material. Maybe uh, we overcharged them, overpriced it. So we're just going to write off a partial amount on this invoice. So let's just write off $350. So the balance is $500. So the customer will still owe us. $500, but we're going to write off $350. So as in the scenario scenario uh, prior, we select on our second line, our GL account that we are going to expense that write-off amount to. So our posting balance again is zero. You can see the balance on the invoice is now $500 and we've expensed a partial amount of that write-off to our bad debt account. So let's go and take a quick look at the GL entry that's created. So you can see we've taken this invoice and we've applied $350 write-off to the original amount of the invoice and that they still owe us $500. And then you can see here that we've written that $350 off to our bad debt expense account. And this is the journal entry that's created. We've credited the accounts receivable and debited our bad debt expense account. Finally, the last scenario that we want to talk about is when we receive cash on an invoice and then we're going to write off the rest of the uh, balance of the invoice. So we go again, we go into cash receipts entry. We create our batch. So partial payment. Okay. We have to create our deposit number for Sage. Now, in this scenario, we do have partial cash received. So we have to record the amount that we're receiving. So they sent us a check for $300. We're going to accept that there. Select our customer. And now we really do have a check number because they sent us this check number. And now we actually receive $300 that we want to make sure gets uh, updates our cash account. So let's go select our invoice. Let's see this. And so in this scenario, we are actually going to credit them for the full amount of the invoice. But when we create our GL distribution, we are only writing off the balance of the invoice, the difference between the total invoice amount and the actual cash that we received. So let's go ahead and accept that. And I'll show you real quick the GL. This one's gonna be a little different because it does take into the account that we received cash.
So you can see here, we've got our customer, our invoice, we've written, we've applied the full amount so that their invoice balance is zero, but of that, there was a portion that we wrote off to bad debt. And that you'll see that that $300 will actually debit our cash account. So here it's a little bit different than the two previous postings. You can see that we've got $300 uh, debited to our cash account. We've taken the full amount as a credit to our accounts receivable, but we still had to write off $107.40 uh, to our bad debt expense. So those are the three scenarios of how to adjust, write off the entire invoice or receive cash and write off um, invoices using the cash receipt functionality in your accounts receivable module. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.